Hey, what's up YouTube? Mike here, and uh, today we're going to go over property observers. Alright, so we're going to talk about the definition, and then we're going to use it in code and playgrounds a little bit. So, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Alright, so property observers, the basic definition of them is that they respond to changes in the property's value. And you have two different kinds of observers. You have will set, and you have dead set. And will set is called before a new value is stored. And uh, you would use new value and references and calculations. So uh, I see in the, you know, in my work, I've seen will set used more than dead set. But uh, they're, they're a lot of times they're interchangeable. It depends whether you want the new value or the old value. And uh, once we work with it, maybe uh, it'll be a little clearer. Uh, so dead set is called immediately after a new value is stored. It's the major difference between these two. Um, and you use old value in the references and calculations. So whatever you need it for, and, and we'll see in a second, uh, the use cases. Now, uh, both of them, you can add custom parameters using parentheses after the call. So instead of using uh, old value and new value, you can use, you know, hey, like that. Um, so yeah, let's let's get started with the, uh, with the coding side. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this. We're going to go into Xcode. We're going to create a new playground. So here we go. Here's the playground. Blank. We're going to call it Property Observers. And we're going to create it. And there we go. If you guys haven't seen the, uh, the computer properties video I did, there's a Quick little trick here if it's if your uh, if your playgrounds is slow to compile because I like to do the automatically run save you from having to go down here and hit play so much and uh, so instead of UI kit we're gonna put import foundation and over here on the, the right hand side we're gonna change the platform to Mac OS so there we go runs much quicker very smooth it's nice. Um, so let's let's uh, the example I wanted to use was a uh, calorie counter. So we're gonna say like today's calories or calories today is our variable, and uh, it's gonna be an int, and it's gonna equal zero. So for uh, for will set and did set, uh, one thing to note is that you have to initialize it. You have to say equals zero or equals whatever um, to get it started. Uh, with get set, you don't have to do that because get will will get the value. Uh, this already it needs to be instantiated first. All right, so we're going to start with will set, and we're going to say if new value and new value is the thing that comes with will set, and you can always change it in the uh, in the parameters here. So we're going to say. Maybe new calorie value, just as an example. If new calorie value is greater than 2,500, so daily, you know, 2,000 is good, but uh, I put 2,500 because I like to eat. So uh, we're going to print you exceeded your daily limit of 2,500 calories, you're now at calories, I suggest you work out or eat less, period. There you go. Little little real talk with yourself right there. Now, uh, <laughs> new calorie value, we're going to add that in here. If you guys aren't familiar with this, uh, the interpolation in a string, you just do backslash and then parentheses, and you can put whatever you want, and it'll put it as a string if you're within parentheses, uh, not within parentheses, within quotations. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is set up the dead set, and we're going uh, to test this out in a minute by changing the value of calories today. And that's, you know, that's ultimately when will set and did set will be called. Now, um, inside, yeah, there we go. So, did set, 
And uh, so I guess we want to see when we add a new value, we want to see how many uh, calories that we added based on what the last value was. So this is when old value would come into play. Um, we can say if calories today greater than old value, because we don't want to put, I mean, if you put like a negative number, I mean, unless you're eating a ton of celery, it's not going to work out for you. Uh, <laughs> so we want to print your last addition added calories to your daily total. And so can anyone guess what I'm going to put in here? Give you a couple seconds. Uh, we're going to put calories today minus old value. And that's going to be the old value was the value before we changed anything. And uh, so let's, let's test this out. Let's take calories today and we're going to make it equal 500. And your last addition added 500 calories to your daily total. See, because this wasn't triggered here. Um, another, another fun thing that we can do is make an else statement here. In case someone does add a negative value, and print, there's no shortcuts, y'all. Enter a positive number. And now for this, we can put negative four. And there we go. So, uh, you know, as you see, we can we can kind of manipulate this how, however we like it. Uh, if we put uh, calories negative four, and then we go in and we put calories today equals, uh, what, 2,800? Let's, let's go past this just to see. And there we go. You've exceeded your daily limit. You're now at 2,800. I suggest you work out or eat less. <laughs> and uh, your last edition added 2,804 because we were at negative four. Um, so that is that is a little bug that we got right there. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say calories today equals We'll, actually, no, we don't want to put that there. We want to do calories today equals old value. Because we don't want um, we don't want that negative four added to this. So uh, yeah, hopefully you understood that and it's printing out you've added 2800 so it didn't take in the negative four. So looks like we've uh, we've done everything we needed to. Uh, the will set and did set are working properly. Uh, I hope y'all found this useful. You can uh, you can download the source code on GitHub. I'm going to save this playground uh, under property observers on my GitHub page. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up on Twitter at Miles of Tweets. Uh, anything else you need to know will be down there in the description. Uh, for the video and yeah see you next time